glory to the King of Kings, the creator of heaven and earth, even to Christ. And beside thee, we have no God. Thank you for this day. Many had intended to see a beautiful day like this, but it's uh, your favor. I've seen this day, I say thank you. And I shall talk or talk about marriage. Give me wisdom, guide me. Even this word from the Holy Scripture will change. People of God. And today I talk on marriage. And I say as for the scripture, Christianity marriage is internal. You cannot wake up and uh, leave your spouse. You cannot. It is forbidden in scriptures. And scriptures are holy and laws cannot be broken. But this generation, uh, you find that they wake up, a person leaves his spouse and marries another. That is sin. As our Lord Jesus Christ was answering Pharisees in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 19, verse 3 to 12. Book of St. Mark, chapter 10, 2 to 12. The book of St. Luke, chapter 16 to 18. That Anyone, anyone who marries a divorced woman or man, you are both committing adultery. And the uh, Lord will punish you. you God, God won't spare you. And God cannot be mocked that you are praying every day, giving your sacrifices, titties in the church. But you don't follow the laws of God. You're wasting your time. That's why you pray, you pray, you pray, you pray, but the Lord left you a long time ago. And uh, Adam, the father of mankind, in the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 23, 24, he says, after his dreams, one of his dreams was taken by God to create Eve. She is born of my bones, flesh of my flesh, and for that cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. For evil, for even more. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this revelation. Thank you. May you be glorified for even the evil. Because beside thee, we have no God. And in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 25. Hey, you husbands, love your wives. Same way Christ loved the church and he gave up his life for the church. Be prepared through thick and thin to stick with your wife in your marriage. But today, absentee husbands, they don't come at home. We have thousands of single mothers. They don't eat fees, food when they come home. Only battering women, abusing husbands, people with no respect, sleeping every hand with other women. Alderaries are no mercy now. They don't care. They can hide anywhere in a car, bush, in those corridors. No respect. But if you won't stop these things, you won't mend your ways, you'll be plagued by God and you'll die quickly. And that's why we say diseases like coronavirus evil still coming, killing people daily. People pray nothing's happening because the Lord God. It's tired of people who don't listen, stiff-necked people who don't want scripture, who don't want to follow the laws of God. Corona destroying both Christian and unrighteous people. What is that? Because although they worship, they do it halfway. Thank you, Jesus. Have mercy on us. Forgive us. Forgive us. Give us. Give us. That's why marriage is between male and female. Beyond that is sin. Having a partner outside of outside wedlock is sin. And we are the generation. Uh, now I have feelings. I want to marry a man and I'm a man. I want to, you want to marry a lady and you're a lady. Oh, wicked generation. The scripture tells you clearly in the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 22. You shall not lie with mankind, same way womankind. 
and go on and do these things. And remember, the Sodom and Gomorrah, the Genesis chapter 19, Lord God will punish you. Lord God, we see men of Sodom and Gomorrah, they loved other men. Even when they saw in the house of righteous Lot, two angels coming there saying, to, to Lot, give us. But uh, Lot begging them, take even my two virgin daughters. They didn't want because that desire is queer, a man after man. And we see God being banned. Sodom, Gomorrah, admonish his boys him, even to the judgment day. Stop these sins and all shall be well in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this wisdom. Many had have desired to know these things, but it's your favor, and I say, there's no God than thee, told the Christ. And uh, the commandment goes on, even the book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 19, you should not, or anybody who lies the beast, verdict is death. But you find now a lost wicked people. I, I love my puppy because humans, I don't trust them anymore. I'll marry my horse. You can marry a pig or any kind of beast. But no, the verdict's death. God shall wipe you away from this earth. You'll die quickly with the abomination. And this is a scripture. In this channel, there's no beautification of sin. Nothing, no pampering. Your pastor can preach to you gospel of prosperity, prosperity. Pro but we are, we are telling you, righteousness is following the laws, in doing what the Lord says in his scripture, and all your life shall be well. And I find today strange in, in, our, in these families, strange kids, <laughs> they have been born abusing kids, kids killing others when they are young. Even their own parents, they wonder, is this my blood? How can the blood of prostitution bring good fruits? They shall be uprooted with their parents, even to hell. Repent your sins, and all shall be well in your life, in your lifetime. Thank you, Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. And uh, going on, uh, you, uh, this man sleeping with me, women, raping even other women. You should treat your wives well. As Ephesians chapter 5.25, love your wives. The pastor, now you go and force yourself to, to your woman, and also you women. Dress well, be respectful, and be submissive. And the marriage should be love, love only. Not copying unrighteous women. Dress well. Dress modestly, and this is the scripture. But who can tell women of today? Who can, who can tell them? If you won't heed to the scriptures, and you prepare it to see, because God cannot be mocked. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your power. God beside thee, we have now God. You are all powerful God. And these are commandments of God, not my own words, but these are commandments. commandments. Um, just to remind you, because you know them, they are hard, but that's the way of righteousness. You man going on to lie with a woman, just aimlessly, and stay one thing, in the book, of Exodus chapter 22 verse 16 anyone who lies with a maiden or a woman you should go on and marry her if parents won't give you the lady you pay something to cleanse to cleanse her because you have already deflowered her but uh, do you want her to go to womb you should take her but you find out deflowered millions of women visual today and that's why Prophet Isaiah, in his book, chapter 34, when he saw very few, few people in this world, God and destroyed billions of them, destroyed all these buildings, all these people, and heaven rolled in a scroll and being thrown away it's because of this sin in generation. Paint yourself, paint your things, 
and understand in your head Christianity marriage is internal and the marriage is male and female. A marriage of, of grouping, that is sin. That is sin. And not the marriage Lord was telling us. In church, you are fornicating, you are doing fornication, sinning all the time. Apostle Paul tells us in the first book of Corinthians, chapter 7, if you are burning, lady, go on, go on and get married. Man, find a woman and marry. Stop sinning, because your body is temple of God. Even Second Corinthians, chapter 6, cleans, cleans your body. Let it stay holy where the Holy Ghost stays, especially you, a Christian. Lord loves you to be holy. Lord wants to be holy for even more. And uh, even if you depart from this world, you shall become a saint. Thank you, Lord, for this revelation, because you are indeed fountain of knowledge. And beside thee, we have no God than the Christ. Thank you. Be with me, walk with me, blessed be thy name, for even and evil. Because you are Lord of Lords, you are King of Kings. I repeat, I remind to you again, marriage is between male and female. Beyond that is sin, period. You Jesus, you Jesus. Now, those who still say you can marry many wives now, you see, King Solomon, Solomon after marrying in the book of Genesis, in, no, sorry, in the book of First Kings, chapter 11, verse 3, he married 700 princesses. But we see, he says this, it will profit you nothing under the sun. He tells us in this wisdom of, of Solomon, in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 9, Live joyfully with your wife, with the wife of your youth. One, one wife, not multiplication of women. It will profit you nothing. King Solomon himself telling us after a thousand women, it's nothing. It's just a vexation of spirit, marrying many women for what? Other sinners committing adultery in church today, doing these sins in this church today. Now they are telling us that even then, King King David did go on and commit adultery in these days. Okay. But when we study and read this scripture, we see, we see after he committed this adultery that he was forgiven and not forgiven because the kid, the kid of Odom, he had begat him and uh, the wife of Uriah, this uh, Bathsheba, the kid was killed. He fasted, he prayed, he begged God. But the kid was destroyed by God, meaning God will never associate with sinners. Whether you are the Esau, and he won't associate the sinning person. And King David was just forgiven his sin. And the kid died. And after killing the husband of Bathsheba, Uriah, he thought the knife will never depart in your house by Prophet Nathan. That's the book of Second Samuel, chapter 11. And he, and he was told, you are hiding, committing this adultery. I will give you women during the day time. Under the sun, and we see his son, abomination shame, in the book of Second Samuel, chapter 16. Absalom slept with the concubines of King David during the day. And all Israel saw, and this was abomination and sin. Thank you, love, this revelation. Thank you, Jesus. So known, adultery is death. You continue enjoying committing, but you will be plagued and you will die quickly. Because Christ is holy and he will never associate himself with the sinners, with the sinning generation. Thank you, Lord. And I remain to you again, marriage is between male and female. Anything than that is sin. Thank you, Lord.